Tensions between the United States and China appear to be approaching yet another potential flashpoint. And U.S. President Donald Trump is preparing to announce plans for retaliation if China imposes a national security law on Hong Kong. Beijing has warned the U.S. it has its own plans if Washington takes any action against it. U.S. media say one of the measures being considered targets the thousands of Chinese graduate students at American universities who could see their visas cancelled. And for more on this, we're joined by Stephen Oaken, Senior Advisor at Maglati Associates. Uh, Stephen, thanks for joining us. So the question is, why would Mr. Trump choose to target Chinese students as his first move? Well, Donald Trump's going to look at everything he does in the prism of his reelection. He is needs to do everything he can to get the economic rebound so that voters will give him a second term. So he is going to take action against China. It, he's going to ramp up the rhetoric, that's for sure, but he's going to have to take some action to back it up. I don't think that initial action is going to be anything that can harm the Chinese economy. Now, I'm not predicting he's going to take action against uh, the student visas of, of the Chinese in the United States. But that would certainly be an example of something that he could do to show that he's tough, but not hurt the U.S. economy in this period where he needs a rebound. Okay, so that puts him in a difficult position then, doesn't it? Because we can only see the rhetoric sort of ramping up on both sides at the moment. You don't see that at all going to be impacting the trade tensions as well as between Beijing and Washington? Well, if both sides want to have their economies rebound. The Chinese want to have their economy rebound. The Americans want to have their economy rebound. Um, the best way to do that is for the Chinese to live up to their commitments in the phase one trade deal that they made in January to buy the U.S. goods. Um, and they want to have their cake and eat it, too, though. So they want to be able to have territorial control and an, a, a, a very aggressive and closing in on absolute way over Hong Kong. So they'll take tough action on Hong Kong, but that doesn't mean they're going to take tough action on trade. And likewise, Donald Trump can have skirmishes, but I don't think he's going to raise this yet to a outright Cold War, certainly not before he knows whether uh, the economy is going to help him get reelected. Okay, so speaking of Hong Kong, then how will it affect the people of Hong Kong by these ongoing tensions? I actually think the bigger issue is what is China going to do in Hong Kong and how is business going to react? Businesses don't care. I mean, there's, there's literally a, a thousand or more American businesses, let alone Singaporean businesses, European businesses. There, there's thousands of them in Hong Kong. What if those in financial services um, could get arrested because they said something less than complimentary about a Chinese SOE listed in Hong Kong? They don't care if there's going to be tariffs going from Hong Kong to the U.S. If they are going to be at risk from being able to do their job, let alone have their liberty at risk, um, have their businesses investigated under a national security law without any, uh, you know, any warrants, any, any notice, any reasons whatsoever, they're going to leave. So what China does in Hong Kong is much more impactful as to what's going to happen to the businesses in Hong Kong than what Trump and Xi do to one another in a trade war. And then speaking of, of President Trump, then, does he have an endgame or an objective when it comes to Hong Kong, or is it just another uh, piece of the, the sort of the, the sparring match between the two? Okay, remember, he has one endgame, and that is to win. It's to get a second term. President Xi is president for life. Donald Trump is president for another nine months. That's it. He's got to win in November. So every action he is going to take, including here, is going to be within the prism of does this help him get reelected? He is going to tough talk. He's going to uh, you know, talk tough on China. He's going to use a lot of rhetoric. He will take some actions initially in these skirmishes, but he's not going to do anything in the short term that's going to hurt the U.S. economy. All right, so then look at this. The U.S. is hoping to bring the Hong Kong issue before the U.N. Security Council. Will anything be able to come out of that then? Zero, because China will veto it at the U.N. Security Council. They're going to say this is a matter of our own domestic politics. This is about our territorial integrity. And you have no right, United Nations, to tell us what to do. And, and look, you know, President Xi 
has his own domestic politics. Yes, he is president for life, but he has to make sure that he is leading his country the way his country wants to be led. And the territorial integrity when it comes to Hong Kong is very important. And, and so that's driving part of what he did. The U.N. is going to have zero impact on what happens in Hong Kong as it relates to Beijing. So, Stephen, one last question for you. You mentioned that President Trump is looking through sort of the prism of his own re-election. Do you see as well uh, China and other players in this also uh, looking in that sort of window up until November and also calibrating how they maneuver and, and how they uh, re retort or respond to President Trump? Well, it's it, it, uh, impossible to know. But would China be so aggressive right now in Hong Kong uh, in the South China Sea, uh, in its language towards Taiwan, instead of calling for, you know, um, instead of calling for a peaceful uh, coming together of, of the two, that it drops the word peaceful. Um, I don't think that's by accident. I don't think that's because um, they see the United States is relatively weak right now, over 100,000, you know, coronavirus deaths over 38 million people unemployed. You now have r literally rioting in the streets in the United States. You have an extraordinarily divided country, and there's no reason to believe that, that President Xi doesn't think he can take advantage of that situation now by being more aggressive and getting less of a retaliation, either from the United States, let alone having a coalition coming in uh, addressing this. You see some of that trying to be led by the U.S. with you know, the five countries coming together, the U.S. and, and the U.K. coming out with statements about Hong Kong. But it, it's a little too little too late. All right, Mayor, thanks for your thoughts this evening, as always. Stephen Oaken, Senior Advisor at McClarty Associates.